Miles Gaskin was the 86th rated running back coming out of high school, according to ESPN in 2015. And Miles Gaskin is just a little bit better than that, as we've seen uh, at the collegiate level. Coming off 1,300 yards and 14 touchdowns as a freshman, we bring in Jack Fullman from Pacific Takes to help us break down the Washington running back position. Gaskin, good running back coming out of high school. I don't know if this was expected, Jack. He's a, he's a game changer. No, I don't think anyone uh, saw that coming at all. He was a nice recruit, but I mean, he was one of the best running backs in the conference last year and up there in the nation too, uh, well over a thousand yards, uh, uh, a good amount of touchdowns and just a guy who looked like uh, Chris Polk and Bishop Sankey before him uh, already as a freshman and as a smaller guy who actually had a little bit of more maybe home run uh, power than those guys too is like a, a burner. He uh, really kind of looked a lot like to me, like almost like a Jaquiz Rogers, a guy who's small when you look at him, like he looks like he might be only five seven and uh, one eighty or something. But he is really physical, and if you give him an inch, he's gonna also be able to bust it out outside uh, and take off for a long touchdown. So he's almost kind of the complete package, and he's only a true sophomore next year. So uh, there's a lot to get excited about for him for Husky fans. Yeah, not a whole lot happened for Gaskin early in the season. Just five attempts for five yards in the opener at Boise State. We'll throw on Sacramento State because they were completely overmatched, but he did have a big game. Then he comes back against Utah State and Cal. Didn't see the ball much. Wasn't very effective. Then the big upset at USC at the Coliseum on a Thursday night, I believe, if I remember that game correctly. And he exploded for a buck 34. And from there on out, He's running for 100 plus yards every game through the bowl game, a buck 81 and four scores against Southern Miss. All right, LeVon Coleman chipped in pretty well, too, uh, Jack, 5.3 per carry. Uh, and he's a junior who came off a sterling freshman season in which he ran for 565 yards in 2014. Yeah, Coleman's kind of the uh, the big physical changeup back in in their backfield. He's about five eleven to twenty five. He's the guy who, uh, if you really want to grind out short yardage or kind of wear down that defense, throw that different look at you. Uh, Coleman's that guy, and then. The other guy they have in the backfield uh, kind of as another changeup is uh, Jamon Dotson. He saw a tiny bit of uh, uh, carries last year, but he's uh, pretty slight. I think he's around 175, 180, but has that kind of track speed, even faster than Gaskin. So they're going to hope to be get him a few carries a game, I think, to you know not just – uh, give Gaskin a break, but also the third show that different look that of a guy who you know uh, gets a seam and he's gone. And uh, they also run it with uh, wide receiver Chico McClatcher from time to time coming into his sophomore year. Ran it 19 times as a freshman, scored three touchdowns, and caught eight passes at the wideout position. Sean McGrew, 28th rated running back coming out of California in that 2016 class. Probably not needed this fall, but we should see him down the road. Right, Jack? Uh, love the breakdown in the personnel. Washington at running back seems to be all set. Yeah, that's for sure.